What up, though? It's Young Honey, and uh, we're doing a Let's Play. You already know this is some Far Cry 5. If you're not hip, you should go check out the other episodes because your boy needs watch time. <laughs> um, I'm mid fucking error, aren't I? Oh, jeez. Is this really where I left off? If I had a nickel for every dumbass stunt of Sharky Boshaws that went tits up, I'd be a fucking millionaire. Still, he's a fighter. And he don't have any love for Eden's gate. Beggars can't be like I guess. I didn't realize I, I, I was literally mid fucking air when I signed up. Jeez Louise. Alright, at least these dudes are getting fucked. Um, I got a problem here. So, biggest thing I wanted to talk about today was in hot. I like making content and I put in a lot of time and effort be into being able to do it. Um, but I also do it on a really tight schedule. I do it in between a lot of classwork and a lot of mental health work. And so, I just kind of wanted to make a video about just some things that I've done while in school so that I could succeed and also kind of enjoy my time and make content and do as I please. Um, and so yeah, we're gonna get into that. Like a little bit of context, like I usually, I'll make a video every day, every other day. Um, I edit them on the same day. Okay. We get weekly drops up on our SoundCloud. We put in a shitload of work all around with the record label to make sure that we're consistently bringing content on all platforms. Cause how weak would it be if we weren't? Can't be a record label without, without content without putting things out, come on now. So I usually stay really busy with all of the extracurricular there, but at the same time, I managed to get myself onto Dean's List um, last three semesters going on four. Reports of a firefight at Fort I, uh, Normally I'd say they can fight their own battles. Like, I'll be damned if we I've done pretty solid in all my classes. I mainly no take uh, writing classes like writing heavy classes, so like, they're not like how to write, it's just it's just a certain subject and you gotta write a shitload about it. Things like that. And I've just found like a lot of success taking a very heavy course load. Um, so I'm gonna share some of the things that have enabled me to do that. Let's talk to this dude real quick. Fates angels might as well be walking corpses. Too far gone to bring back once you get that much bliss in you. But with this stuff, we might be able to just herd them out of the way. Once it's ready, do you, do you, do you uh, think you can give it a field I'll test? I'll give it a field test, bro. I'm positive it'll work. Like, 90, you did good. Give me a bit, just to make it Okay. What? So we're coming along on different mission. Progress. Let's see. Let's see where we are over overall. See what else we can really do. Ooh, Judge Bear and Judge Cougar would be nice to get out of the way. Let's do the Judge Bear. We'll go talk to Guy Marvel. Probably do the Judge Cougar. But yeah. So one of the most important things is actually finding balance to do things and also maintain time to socialize a little bit. You don't want to go crazy, especially if you're just entering school. Like, <laughs> you can't overwhelm yourself with all different kinds of work and trying to establish connections and doing everything. So I'm gonna list off like a bunch of different things, but you gotta keep in mind, this may take a year or two to develop. Shame on you. you know? Twice. Like, there's so much to do while you're in college. It's gonna take a lot of time. 
and you really, really, really can't be hard on yourself while you're doing it. So, just like, please, please, please keep that in mind above literally all else. Like, it, it's a process, nothing is gonna happen for you overnight, as cool as that would be. It's gotta be steady, consistent work, and I, I, I'm gonna just be honest, it's fucking hard. It is really fucking hard sometimes, but it's also so rewarding. There really aren't many better things that you could do for yourself than be proactive while you're in school and really, really, really just kind of take control of your academics and build, build a very strong network around yourself as time goes on. It's, it's going to be a game changer for you and it's going to make a world of a difference. So, Oh jeez, let me get this dude up. Oh, he's dead. Hate to see that. Oh. Um, so yeah, it like I was saying, it's super, super, super important to be finding every opportunity for yourself, making the most of it, and then Ensuring that you, I mean, you can get a lot out of things while making the most of it and making the most of something without getting a whole lot out of it. And so they are kind of two things, but they are really similar. That would just be semantics to kind of say both of them. Let's see where we are on the fate thing, then I'll get into the, I'll get into the list. Word. Word, she's almost mad enough to pull us over to her. Start a fight. Um, so first thing that I really, really wish that I did, that I wish that I hit the ground running on. Um, I made some amazing friends my first year in school. I still talk to them despite transferring a few times. Like, really, it, it, it's all love and the network there is just remarkable. Um, but at the same time, I didn't build a network to the extent that I would want to. And so that's first thing on my list. Like find a group of people that you're comfortable with that make solid decisions, that want to build something for themselves. You know, like I'm not saying like, don't go to school, don't fuck around at all, like things like that. Like it's a learning experience in that regard, but like make sure that like you got friends that are showing up to their classes that are putting in the same effort that you're putting in and that make you want to work harder. Like that, it, it's just next level important. Those people are going to influence you a lot and they're going to end up becoming a really stable support system for you. Thank you, Virgil. I'm not going to do the war on drugs thing right now, but. And similarly, there there is a little bit of a difference in these things. When I say build a network, these are the people that you're going to communicate with like across the course of the week, but not like every day sort of deal. Let's talk to Guy Marvel. Oh, wait, quick. you're new. Hey, you want to work in a movie? Of course you do. You are the solution to all my problems. Ballbuster, eh? I like so a cozy sound studio instead of an auditory nightmare with a maniacal control freak listen fine get going and kill the noise when I say that there's a difference between like your network and your friends I mean like your friends are the people that you feel comfortable doing goofy shit with those are the people you feel comfortable going out with and really spending time with let me reset recording reset like, those are the people that you really, really, really are going to be relaxing with, and they're going to be your friends. They're, they're going to be the ones that you drink, smoke, do whatever you do, and they're going to be the ones that you share things with and all that. Your network is going to be, if you can have friends inside of your network, like, that's entirely okay. That's, I, I would argue, even a good thing. But at the same time, I would say that your network should be people in your classes, study groups, 
people that share professional interests with you. Well, if you're a political science student like me, you hang out with a group of other political science majors. Talk to them about their personal path and what they're doing. Find out what opportunities they're being offered and how they found them, because odds are you can go and find similar opportunities without taking away from them and building up your own resume in the process. That shit's huge, and it, there's, just, there's always going to be a different dynamic than there is with your friend group. It's just, it's just the kind of way it is, but like I said, your friends can be involved okay, there, and it's even more fun when they are. <laughs> like, it, it makes working a little bit better, in my opinion. Um... But like yeah, I'm gonna go run over there before I get into the next few points. Uh, while we transition into the next few points though, keep in mind, a lot of this list is about proactivity. It's about taking some time to do work early so that you don't have to do a whole lot of work later. Because if you let things sit while you're in college like that, or even high school, or wherever you are in academic sort of deal, like, you're, you're so fucked down the line. It's just not the situation you want to be in. Right? So, right off the bat, you're going to want to make sure that you go into things telling yourself, I'm going to be proactive about things. I'm going to make sure I get the work done early, not at the deadline. And I know that that's hard to adjust to. And I know that, like, I know it's so much easier said than done. Like, it's, it's so fucking hard <laughs> to pull yourself away from having fun to go be proactive about things and go like understand your schoolwork better. Like, like it sucks. There are so many At the same time, it's so important because you're going to make your life so much easier in the long run. Like, I, like I, with ADHD, like... I just, I struggle so much with focus, paying attention, and really just like sitting down to do things. And that's made so much difficult for me, for me throughout my academic career. But one of the biggest changes in that, like I'm talking, I'm talking, I haven't taken any kind of medication for my ADHD in the last few months. Like I, I I really should, and I am, because that shit's just important. Um, I just haven't really, like, like, I've been trying to lower anxiety and shit like that, which is why I haven't been. Um, but even still, I found that one of the biggest ways to reduce all the stress and all the pressure and nervousness that comes with, with having something like ADHD or an over, even just a, an overwhelming amount of work sort of deal. One of the biggest things is just getting my schoolwork done early. Like not getting pressed about things because, like not getting pressed about deadlines specifically because my deadlines have been completed the day I got the assignment. The day after I got the assignment. Like, like they're, they're just like non-existent to me because they're just done. And so I think that that's I think that that really goes a very, very, very long way for me. Literally just looking at the assignments for the day, seeing what's been assigned, and also going, all right, everything that's come in today is getting done. I do those things first, <clears throat> and if I'm behind on something, I'll cut out my personal time. Like, if I still have work to do after I've uh, been proactive, like if I have deadlines like that night, I'll cut shit out from my personal time and like relax in time to go and get that done just because you, you don't necessarily need to treat school like your life or even entirely a career, but you gotta take it seriously and you really gotta take your schedule seriously if you wanna make it easy for yourself. What? <laughs> You can't be walking around with like a thumb up your ass being like, I don't know what's happening. Like every single day. Like trust me, that was that was how I was rocking things. And to be honest with you, 
it, it was horrifying. Every day was terror. <laughs> Literally every day of my fucking life is terrible. Like I dreaded waking up. You know, it's just not, it's just not the way. You feel me? So, really, 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 I cannot overstate this. Proactivity is your best friend. So, this may seem a little obvious, but it can be hard when you're caught up in a three, 400 person class. Actually fucking pay attention. Like take handwritten notes, write down like, take notes in a way that like, you know, you best learn and study from, but make sure that they're robust. Like make sure that you've taken a huge amount of notes if possible. And I personally say write them down just because I find that when I open up my laptop, I'm looking at YouTube stats, SoundCloud stats, I'm looking at I'm looking at label stuff, I'm looking at communications, like I'm looking at so many different things that just aren't school. And you end up tuned in midway through class and you feel a little bit hopeless because you have no idea what the fuck is going on because the foundation of what you're learning was explained in the first 10 minutes. Wait. Well, <laughs> You gotta actually pay attention. It's not very, it's not always very fun. It's not always going to be like easy, but you're gonna, you're gonna be really happy that you did. Classes are such a short time in your life sort of deal. Like when you look at the grand scheme of things, it is a very short amount of time out of your day. Oh shit, Judge Cooper dead. Let me reset recording. Reset it. Like, you're gonna be so happy that you took the time out of your day to go and learn something because you can you can go and look at things online, you can go and review course materials, but there isn't anything that's going to replace intangible bits of information that were provided during the lecture. So unless you're the type of person who's, who has a recorded class and actually will watch the recordings after, Make sure you're paying attention in class, bro. You, you'll, make, you'll make your future self super fucking happy come finals because most of the things on finals and midterms and essays are all overhyped by professors during classes. Like, they'll talk about that shit all the time if it's important. You know? Like, you really, really, really gotta pay attention to what they say inside of class. Because not only, not only is it just kind of going to benefit you all around, not only is it going to do a lot for you in terms of education and developing like your, your life and knowledge, it's just also like, like you're learning from someone who has such a deep passion for what they're doing. You don't, you don't teach at the collegiate level unless you're trying to eventually get your education like set with a PhD sort of deal or you love what you're doing and if you're trying to get a PhD you love what you're doing all right like <laughs> so you're learning from these people who've dedicated immense amount of time to learning what they're teaching and you can benefit from all that information in such a short condensed amount of time you don't have to spend a whole career on it like they have. Dang, I'll give you the best of like the knowledge that they found inside of that context and you can apply it to your own life how you will. Like it's really important to actually listen to what your professors are saying and try to take away from that. This one is also like, I, I feel badly saying this just because I completely ignored advice like this like years ago like when i first started school but one of the biggest things is your extra credit assignments if they're ever offered don't treat them like extra credit those motherfuckers are not optional because if your grade slips and you didn't do that extra credit assignment, you know the first thing your professor is going to fucking say in that email back to you when you're like groveling and begging for extra credit? 
Like it's literally gonna be, I offered it. Like I tried, I offered it. I, 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 I gave everyone this opportunity. I can't give out more. And you're gonna get fucked. Like, like you're, you're, you're gonna get fucked. It, it's unfortunate, but that's just, it's just how it go. And so I feel like, I feel like it's really, 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 really important to make sure that you do all the extra credit opportunities, make sure that you get the most out of literally fucking every experience possible while you're at school because it's just going to make your life easier down the road. Let me talk to this uh, real quick. This Looks like they're moving more prisoners to the Fang Center. Those sick fuckers are using them to train their judges to attack. Let's go. I'll be damned if I'm gonna let that happen. Danged if you do, danged if you don't. But yeah, really, really, really make sure that you take advantage of extra credit opportunities. Like, they are very rare, they are very sporadic, and unless you are taking a class with fucking Slimes McKenzie, like, you're not getting a professor to give you extra credit if they've already offered it. Like, you, you need to have like speech level 100 for that shit. For example, like in terms of proactivity, like just returning to that for a second, I uh, once I finish this up, I'm gonna wait for all my clips to export from Xbox and all that. But I got I got some homework for Wednesday. This is a Saturday, dog. Like after this, while everything's exported, I'm gonna go get Wednesday's homework done because I don't have homework on Monday or Tuesday, taking online classes. And so most of my stuff starts being due on Wednesday. I already did my Thursday's homework, like yesterday. <laughs> and so after, after I finish this up today, I got a fucking week off. I got a week off because my time got managed semi well. That was, that was a clean save. I, I'm, pre I'm pretty proud of that, I'm not gonna lie. Buddy, you're not in conflict. It's horrible. They've got people tied up at the ranger station and they're shooting at them like live target practice. You gotta go save them. But yeah, like, I'm literally about to get my like whole week off about a whole week off you feel me just because i looked at my schedule i decided what I, I wanted to do what i was capable of doing each day and i decided to move from there damn this ain't a great spot Positioning. Damn. do as much damage control as possible. Okay, word. I think we got it. What? 
Oh shit. No, 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 no. Yo. But yeah, being proactive, getting your shit done early, it's it sucks sometimes because I'm gonna be exhausted by the time I finish all my work today and I'm gonna have to take the L on today, like going out tonight. But I got plans for tomorrow night already. Like I have nothing to worry about on Monday. I I just kinda get the day to myself where I can, you know, make more videos. Relax, do what do what I want. Like there are benefits to it. Let me reset the recording. Reset it. So also not not to be under undervalued at all. Use your school resources as much as possible. Every school is gonna offer you. Like, like they're gonna offer you various different kinds of resources like mental health resources, case management like programs, uh, financial aid services. Do your research on those before you get to school. Because if you have a learning disability or you have mental health issues or you generally find that school can be overwhelming, those places can get you extensions. Those places can reach out to your teachers for you. Those places can help you get more comfortable with communicating in a more professional setting. And the best part is like in my experience, whenever I've gone there and I felt like I've had a stupid question, like I walked in there like damn near embarrassed to ask some of the things that I've asked. And no point do they make you feel patronized. They don't make you feel badly. They literally sit you down and talk to you like an adult. They will treat you well. You have literally nothing to worry about in going to those school services. And they are going to help you. Like they're gonna do whatever possible to make sure that you're thriving at school because it's a it's low key of business. You are, are giving them quite a bit of money. All right. So they want you to do well, they want you to stay in school, and they want you to get the most of the experience so that it's considered worth it for the next generation. You feel me? So really, really, really take advantage of those things. They're there for a reason, both positively and selfishly. Okay, we're good. Look, I haven't done a whole lot right recently. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna cut to the chase. And head to the farm. We have to put this oh. stuff through a test run. Deputy, we're set for trial. Oh yeah, like these people can make a world of a difference for you. And fuck, oh dog, I lost my train of thought so hard. I forgot the bait. I forgot the bait. I lost my train of thought. Jesus Christ! You gave me the courage. Did I not eat the star down moments ago? I'm gonna just circle back to school resources. Hello, girlfriend. You inspired us to fight back. Going? <laughs> just going to circle back to school resources. Sure Literally, they will make a world of a difference for you. And the best part is, they're free. Like, I, I have not been charged for going to case management. I have not been charged for going to the school guidance counselors. And I haven't been charged for going in and being like, hey, maybe this class isn't right for me. What are my options? And having someone literally take four hours out of their day to talk me through my issues with my major, what I was nervous about, and what classes I can take in the future to make me feel more comfortable about my future. About like my career prospects in the future. You know? Like, it, 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 that first time walking in, like I, I had low expectations because of other experiences at schools and in high school sort of deal. And my, my high school is great about those things. Like I say that from point of like, they were actually good about it. And my high school experience there was rough. 
Like, <laughs> these things are super important, you know? So that first experience of going in, being patient, and just being like, hey, I need some help. I'm really confused and I, I feel like I gotta get to moving on things. I, I need someone to answer these questions. It was a very positive experience and it did a lot for me. And I think that that's something that literally every student is meant to benefit from. Like you don't even need to have a diagnosed issue. You don't need to have like serious problems or anything. Like it's just sometimes everyone has trouble and there are resources there. So it's really, really, really fucking important to make sure that you're using them. So next thing, this is, this is part of being proactive. You gotta manage your time well. You really, really, really need to be mindful of what's going on with your time, what you're doing, and how not doing those things could impact you. You know, like you really need to think about the importance of getting your homework done. You need to think about the importance of getting all of uh, getting your social obligations completed. Just meeting people. You know? Like, all those things are super important. And so, yeah. I would really, really, really emphasize learning how to get your schedule in check and learning how to make sure that everything that we're doing benefits you in some way, whether it's holistic or academically. Skunk skins. Take a lot of skunk. But oh, yeah, that has just just making the effort to manage your time in some way is gonna make you more conscious of it and it's gonna make you better at it. And so that's why I kinda advocate for practicing that and being super mindful of what you're doing with your time. Because that is famously the only thing you don't get more of. And for real, like, we, we don't deserve that. We all deserve to feel pretty good about our situations. And one of the best ways to do it is to make sure that your schedule isn't overcrowded and that you're doing things at your pace. Now, where the fuck do we find a grizzly bear? American black bear. American black bear. Grizzly buyer. Jesus. It's almost insulting, I'm not gonna lie. But it's okay, we got time. Resetting recording? Reset? I'm a sleepy boy, quadruple excel. I did not get eight hours of sleep tonight. That's something I personally need. Last night, see? Thank God I have a little listy list of all the things over here. Right, I'm getting fucking seaplane.
But yeah, so with managing your time, you're gonna find that at some point, you got a metric fuckload of time. College is a good time to find what you like and what you don't like. Don't be afraid to go try things. If you see that your school is hosting a symposium on something, or you see that there's an event in the city that your school is in that you want to go to, go do it. Do not hold yourself back from doing it. Really, really, really find and explore new hobbies. It, it can make such a change in your mental health and mental state and your ability to perform in school. Am I about to do a barrel roll and a seaplane? Fuck yeah. There we go. Like, what, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't even have to be a cr creative outlet. It doesn't have to be a full outlet. There are just a lot of different things that you can do for yourself to ultimately gather skills, meet people, develop, develop your network and friend group and really fill up your time in a positive way that's not that's not detrimental to your well-being so bury yourself in some hobbies with the extra time you get like when you're not socializing or doing schoolwork or actual actually working like really 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 just take a little bit to stop and smell the roses hey no way I always forget like how good the vehicle auto aim is. Um, we gotta go kill these grizzly bears over here. But yeah, I mean like, if I hadn't taken time to start learning music, I wouldn't have found one of my best mental health outlets. I wouldn't have found a whole group of friends that I have. I wouldn't have found one of the best things for me. If I hadn't have found music, I wouldn't have found doing stuff like this. I wouldn't have found content creation. I wouldn't have found a lot of different things. And so it's, it's so fucking important to really put yourself out there and just do shit. Find the things that make you feel fulfilled. And that kind of comes with exploring your hobbies. So, I feel like that point's kind of self-explanatory, to be honest. Thank you. All right, where, where, where are there some grizzly bears? I guess I read that over there. Apparently not. I was promised grizzly bears. Just friendly deers. But yeah, I can't I can't overstate this. Really, really, really take the time to branch out. Find what you're passionate about. Find what you like doing. Find how you like spending your time. Why is there a fucking black bear in the grizzly bear area? So, on top of that, you got to get close to teachers. Make sure that you find, don't, don't do it just for the sake of doing it. That's, 
that's corny. That's really unfortunate. It's not fair to the teacher. It's also not fair to yourself because you're going to be kissing ass for like no reason. And professors really hate that. Like, do not do yourself like that. But if there's a professor that you really relate to, that you really like, that who has a class that you're really, really loving and enjoying, and you relate to them, ask them about other study opportunities. Ask them what other classes they, they teach. Like, take an interest in their lives a little bit. Like, talk to them. Professors are people too. And a lot of them are, like I said, super interesting, very knowledgeable, and are very willing to help you out with various different things in your life and in your career. So I'm, I'm a big advocate of like genuinely forming some positive relationships with your professors. There are a few that like really have changed my perspective on how I look at a lot of things. And it's, it's really, really, really been a game changer for me, for how I write, for how I interact with other people, what I'm, like, what I'm gonna be interested in doing in the future. Like, it's, it's interesting. And I feel like that's something that's really, really, really important to do. And you owe it to yourself to do it because professors aren't your friends, but they can be in your network. You can talk to them down the line and ask for research opportunities. See if they know someone in the line of work that you're interested in, you know? Like, these aren't things that, you, that you're not, like, you can't do. You're, you're absolutely allowed to do it. And professors, I think, want you to take an interest in what they're doing. They want to hear from their students. They want to know that you're enjoying their course and getting something out of it, you know? Like, that's, that's why a lot of people take the job. They want to inspire greater. And so, really, building, building relationships with your professors will take you a very, 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 f very far away. Resetting recording? Reset? So, next thing is that I had written is very similar to the networks. And part of it really, form your study groups. People offer different perspectives. They offer different views on how instructions can be interpreted. You overall get, get better results. Also, I'm not saying that you should cheat or that you and your friend should lie. But I'm saying if one of your friends is able to tell the professor, hey, I know this dude, like we're in the study group together. He didn't show up today because he was sick, you know? That person will probably be able to get you, get you an excused absence. Oh, um, depends on their relationship with the professor, but you know, it's not, it's not out of question. Definitely something to keep in mind. Again, like as long as you're not a complete dick to the professor and you, you show it like, you, you show them like, hey, I appreciate you for what you're doing. This is really cool. I, I'm thankful for the knowledge you give me. More They're going to be more willing to help station. you. It's about time we take those so, out. How about it? No the present. Next thing, next thing is again similar to something I said earlier. It's really important to have balance and to have fun. Right? Like part of having balance is making sure home. that you have fun. So, with that in mind, like, this is the real don't, don't wild out, don't, place. don't hurt yourself, don't, don't do things to impress people. <coughs> but also, hey, at the buddy. same time, I know you're there. do yourself yeah. a solid, right? The, like you, you don't have in, in a lot of situations you don't have a whole lot of responsibilities in college you should take advantage of that do you thankfully don't have a job to go to on Monday morning so maybe if once or twice a semester your friend is like hey there's a concert this Sunday evening and you're like well I have a class on Monday morning Maybe that's one of the instances where you force yourself to watch a recording from that class. You know? 
Make sure you get time in for yourself. That shit is so important. Treating yourself is vital. I think, uh, I think to summon faith, I just run into the bliss or some shit. Or I just wait. But, um, for real, like, it's so important to take it easy on yourself. Burnout is a very real thing with school. It impacts everyone to different degrees. Being mindful of it is going to take you a very, very, very far away. That's that's all I can really say to that. Make sure that make sure that you're doing well in school before you blow it off to have some fun. But also make sure that you don't get burned out. Make sure that you stay happy. Make sure that you stay enjoying life and exploring things that that aren't school. You know? There's so much more to do than that. About a full ballist and have to make it easier for me to read through everything. We're almost done, we're about halfway through. A lot of these are shorter points. But yeah, like for real, just being, that that's kind of where having your time balanced also comes in. You know, if you have the time to plan and build your shit to have fun. Putting yourself in a situation that's conducive to having fun with balance. I don't understand. Like, it sucks Did to assume that, or to know, you know, that you have to do something. Simple, it really yeah. does. You are just so and you to an extent, you can get away with those things like like to, to a point but at a certain age at a certain point in life you need to be held accountable for certain things and just building that base for yourself as early as possible if you haven't already started it is vital a hero <coughs> this part upsets me do you know what hubris is arrogance before the god Greek saw it as a dangerous form of pride that invoked the goddess Nemesis, who would seek retribution. I win this hand. You have to wear a button. What do you say? <laughs> Straight flush. If violence is the only language you choose to speak, I'll speak your language. Mm. I have a feeling we're gonna have to kill her. And when their blood is on your hands, we'll see how heroic you feel. We'll see how heroic you feel. What are you doing? Bird, oh! no. I'm sorry to have to do this. I'm sorry to have to do this. I wanted there to be another way. I wanted there to be another way. This is why I wish I could have left the marshal in the bliss. You made your choice. But you made your choice. You know. So one of the parts of school, <laughs> out of nowhere, one of the parts of school that I kind of had to learn is a lot of fun classes are offered, okay? Like a lot of really fun ones. I took one about pirates last semester. It was fucking awesome. It did not develop any skills for me though. So where I'm going with that is, you know, develop your life skills through classes. Look for classes that are going to be relevant. One of the one of the required classes that I had to take that helped me understand this, it's one I think it's the most failed class at my school. Like for my major. Sort of deal. Like 
I hated that shit. I had a mental breakdown midway through. I had to go home for like a week and I got lucky. My professor, I, I, I got lucky. I feel badly for my professor because I actually loved this dude. The class was so hard, but I loved this dude. Really quick, resetting recording, reset. Like, I really, 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 like, he was a good teacher. He was a, like, he was a really hard worker and he, he cared a lot. Despite being someone that was currently in school themselves and those teachers, like, it really goes 50-50 with. And so it was so nice to have his class, but that was the hardest class I've ever taken. It fucking broke me. And I had to leave, like, I literally had to leave school midway through because that was my only in-person class. Um, I got lucky in the sense that he got COVID one week, right? Like, I, I got an opportunity to literally run home and just be like, I'm taking time for myself. But that class taught me so much. It was an incredible amount of information. It was a summer class, so it, it was a six week course, most failed course for my, like, my major. And it's just, it's done so much for me. Like when I tell you that I I couldn't really predict the elections for this cycle, I don't think that anyone can fully do that. I can tell you, I had a pretty good idea of what it was gonna look like because I can understand how to read polls. I understand like where this course is going, specifically because of this class. Like it really developed a life skill that was huge for me. And it's made an entire world of a difference in my life. Like it's taught, like it taught me so much, not just about understanding like political science research, it taught me about like how I respond to pressure, which is apparently, mom, dad, I need to come home for a few days. I, 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 I'm scared. Um, but like it taught me about that, and it also taught me that I can rely on my support system, which is another important point. Don't be scared to reach out to friends and family for help. Like, make sure that you get help and communication from people, actually. <laughs> you dig? <laughs> like, really, really, really emphasize that for yourself. Like, it, it taught me that I could trust both myself and my support network to make the best decisions for me. And it's also taught me a lot about my major, a lot about what kind of jobs I absolutely don't want to fucking hold after I graduate. It's taught me a lot about why I disagree, why I agree and disagree with policy procedures. And it's taught me so much more. Like, like it's literally indescribable what a class geared towards your interests that challenges you will do. So really make sure that you're choosing classes that are going to develop your life skills. Make sure that you're choosing classes that are going, not, not going to be a cakewalk, but make sure they interest you. Like, make sure that they're going to be apl applicable to your life. Like, that shit is so vital, you know? But moving past that, like I said, you're going to learn a lot about how you handle stress and how you handle stressful situations. I know that I did. Pro tip, he's over here. But yo, this, this is a transition period. Like, college is you learning how to navigate social situations, educational settings, researching, understanding new information, finding new information for yourself, things like that. It's fucking hard sometimes. Embrace that struggle. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Be proud of yourself. Make sure that when you successfully get through something, you take the time to thank yourself for doing it. I know that this message doesn't match what's happening on the screen, but <laughs> for real, like, it's really, really, really important to understand that not everything is going to be easy, not everything is going to be fun, and a lot of things are going to make you feel like you're on edge.
or on an edge in general. Destroys. And so it's important to embrace that situation and recognize what you're going through and be proud of yourself. Kill her. Like you're getting through things. Don't let her get away with this. Look at how many people graduate from college every single year. Look at your college's graduation rates. Sure, I'm sure you'll find it encouraging. All right, you'll get through things. When this mission over, always takes so long. We will all be together in the bliss. The best thing I can recommend for getting through the faith fight really quick is ignore the angels. Just keep running. Just dig it out and keep running. But more importantly, one of the other big challenges with school that it's a cliche, but but you do learn to appreciate it is you find what you absolutely fucking hate. For example, that same class that I just mentioned that I got a lot out of and I love that professor. I'm not becoming a statistician, statistician or poster. I'm not looking in to understanding political science research. I'm not trying to understand those stats. That's not what I want to do with my career. It really, really, really isn't. It's the last thing I want to do. Like, I can't imagine doing that for my entire life. I just can't. I just can't. And I learned that because I took that class. <laughs> Reason set. Um. So yo, some experiences may end up sucking. That's just kind of how it is. That's okay. Because past that, odds are you never have to touch it again. At all. Sheriff was a wall. Not in the slightest. A wall between you and the father. A wall that kept you from seeing his truth. Oh. Okay. So, I will not so that next thing I kind of want to point out is, listen, you don't have to do every required the reading, so okay? Close now, so close to you don't. The word of the father into his heart. I, I, I wish that, I wish that I was lying, no but truthfully, you don't. That being said, that being said, do you know how much it helps? Like... If, if you read the chapter and you know what you're talking about to literally the slightest extent inside of your discussion boards, inside of your essays, do you know what that does for your teacher's opinion of you? Like... <laughs> you're really putting yourself in a spot to learn and recall upon information that you previously learned. So, again, it does suck, because it requires that you be proactive, okay? But at the same time, I promise you, it is more than worth it to be reading your textbooks, to be taking time to understand what you're reading, and to take notes. Just kind of get used to uh, going through academic materials and figuring out exactly no, what they mean fault. and how to interpret them on you your own. That shit is you with drugs. You me. so I important, in my opinion, to being an educated adult, being an educated person, not even an adult, just being able to understand the information that's given to you. Like, it's unreal. It, unreal. So, take the required readings, actually do them. If something's listed as optional, treat it as required. It's, it, it's not always you a lot of fun, doing, but it is important. It's, it's going to be the difference in you either succeeding or failing in school. Because if you can, if you can argue something inside of a paper and back it up with research, your professor isn't going to fail you. You can make the dumbest of arguments if you have actual research to back you up and you have material from the text to justify your argument in a rational way. 
they're not failing. They're just not. <laughs> that wouldn't be fair. But yeah, so similarly, learn how to conduct academic research. I don't I don't like looking at .org websites or .com websites when I'm researching. .gov websites are usually solid if you're looking at a transcript of a government event. I don't really like uh, government action statements. Um, look for things that end with edu. Look for databases like uh, JSTOR, Science Direct, SagePub. Look for places like that. It's so important that you go through the wealth of information that's on there and find what's been peer reviewed, understand how to understand what a good paper is and learn how to carefully select your sources. For the most part, your essays will write themselves. You know, like not only will you form an opinion on something very quickly that way, just because you're exposed to all this information so quickly and you're verifying it so quickly, but you're really, really, really gonna make your life easier because a lot of essay writing is just finding ways to bullshit until you hit the word count. Imagine if you didn't have to do that, you know? Like, that, that's, just, that's just one of my big things. We are getting fairly close to the end of this list and that's good timing because we're getting close to the end of this bunker. End of this mission. End of Faith's region. But we still got some missions to do here. So yeah, one of these points. I don't have much time. We gotta save the sheriff from the bliss. One of these points is similar to something I said earlier, so I'm gonna start with that. Kill the bliss, kill it all. Really take time to explore your interests. Like, please do not be afraid to go out and try new things. Reset it. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Like, don't be afraid to go out and try new things, make new friends. Don't, don't think, oh, this may not be fun, this may not be what other people are doing. Like, like, just go out, just say fuck it and try it. Just do it. Like, I had zero interest in doing music the first time I recorded my voice. Like, that's not what I wanted for myself, you feel me? And now that I know, now that I've tried it, it's all I want. And it, it's opened up so many doors and so many paths. Like, it, it's genuinely unreal. And so I think that it's really important to take that time to figure out some stuff that you do love that isn't academic. Build your hobbies, become your own person. Don't, don't be like a fucking stand-in figure. Like, it's important that you understand how to make friends and how to be a good participant in conversations and shit like that and how to also appreciate other people's interests. But dog, uh, get some interests for people to appreciate about you. Have a fucking personality, be yourself. Like, develop those things. Think of it like a fucking gaming skill tree. You know? Like, it's really, really, really the best time to explore these things for yourself. And so, I think that you'd be doing yourself a disservice if you didn't, you feel me? So, I really feel like that point cannot be overstated. It really can't be. It's, it's... 
you really, really, really got to find your own way through things. You can't become over-reliant on other people's interests. You can't become over-reliant on just getting ahead in school. And you've got to make sure that your hobbies are balanced. You've got to make sure that you're doing these things in a healthy way. Don't overburden yourself. Remember, these things are supposed to be fun. So, yeah. I think I've said all I want to about that point. Like, even if it's, bro, well, even if it's joining any of your teams, like, that shit's so much fun. <laughs> Take advantage of those things. Those opportunities are great. <laughs> I'm trying to do this slowly just because usually I get super overwhelmed with all the enemies when I try to run through and just crank all of them at once. Oh. But yeah, again. Second to last thing. Your social circles are important. I'm not gonna lie. They're, they're really key to setting yourself up for success because, those, again, those are the people you're going to be hanging around, those are the people you're going to be doing things with, those are going to be the people that you form study groups with and build bonds with, you know? So, while they are key and they are important, they're not everything. Again, learn to appreciate yourself. Learn to look at your interests and go, damn, that's really cool. I'm happy that I'm doing this for myself. You know, really, really, really take stock and enjoy the situations while you're in there. And don't think I'd rather this person be here or I'd rather be doing this. Just take advantage of it, Like, really, there are so few times in life that things will be perfect. And it's not important to take things, and it's important to not take things away from yourself just because they aren't. Because I think you'll find that even even fairly solid is pretty good. You know? Well, if you're comfortable in your own skin with what you're doing and with where you're going in life, you're really set and even the really shitty situations are they're gonna be mitigated. Like it's really gonna be a lot easier on you. And um, I think that that's something that I wish I understood a little bit better before I went to school. Like it wasn't about partying with people. It wasn't about it wasn't about learning or getting ahead or getting all the all, all, all the opportunities to further myself possible. But it was a lot of it was about finding out what I like, who I am, what I like doing, what I find enjoyable. That's been invaluable. Like, there really, really, really are words for how good that is and how good that feels. So, I really want to make sure that that point is not missed at all. And I'm going to save the last point just for, um, for a log off because it's short. It's short and sweet. I can't believe I've died. <coughs> Disrespectful. Yeah, that just means I gotta approach it differently. shoot through walls, the other cannot. Jeez. Okay. We're just gonna get through this real quick. But yeah, for real, like, this isn't, this isn't on some corny shit. This isn't saying, like, you have to do certain things. It's just saying, find what you love. Like, 
I don't mean that in any way other than it's so important to go find things that are going to keep you going through the day. Find, find some healthy hobbies. Find what you love to do. A lot of the things that I like to do, I got to do alone. You know? That sucks sometimes. Like, at the same time though, I've come to appreciate the alone time that that affords me. There's something to it, and I feel like it's important to appreciate really every step. And so listen, final point uh, as we make our way out of here. There are going to be so many new experiences and so many new people to meet, so many new things to do, so many more places to explore and just generally existing and, and vibe with them. You know, take advantage of it. All you have to do in these spots is not be a complete jackass about it. Literally, all you, all you have to do is just not be an asshole. That is, you're nice to your friends, you're nice to your family, you're nice to your professors. And you make sure that you're trying to better yourself and find more positive outcomes for yourself and further your education while you're in school. Bro, this shit ain't gonna be stressful for you. I promise. Like, you're, you're gonna be set. About a minute and a half on this recording, I'll just let it run. But yeah. That's all for that. That was that list. I hope you enjoyed that one. I want to be doing more stuff like this where I kind of get into other things more so than gameplay. Just because I feel like that's a little bit more lively, a little bit more fun, and I feel like there, there's some valuable things that I could offer. Um, At the same time, if there are things I left off or things that maybe don't work as well for you, let me know. I'm always trying to find more ways to improve myself. I still got a semester left in school. Like I'm not, I'm not past learning about how to better this experience. Like, that's simple. A seal has been opened. That's it.